Hi, Dotson Geist here with Marine Max Charleston. Today I want to show you guys a brand new trait of ours. This is a Scout 277 Dorado. She's a 2023 and a recent trade I'm gonna walk you guys through. We're gonna walk you to start to the front of the boat and the beautiful bow. You'll see these great loungers, both port and starboard. I'm six foot for reference, nice tall back, nice deep gunnels, as well as nice convenient uh, grab handles, as well as drink holders on each side and USB chargers. That's both port and starboard. Moving to the bow, you can get the optional bow filler. This particular boat does not, but you'll see the armrest as well for our lounges, our flip windshield and walk through door that opens and closes off that cockpit for those cooler mornings. Underneath both sides, you do have storage, both port and starboard. These are insulated boxes. And then moving to the bow, we have her equipped with the optional rod holder cup holders, and as well as the windlass system, toggles up and down, and as well as the bow boarding ladder here in the bow. Now we're here at the helm, I wanna show you guys the port side. So nice, convenient placed wireless phone charger for your passengers that slides in, secures it nicely, and instantly charges, as well as conveniently placed USB ports there to the port, glove boxes, and as well as additional phone storage. Cup holders on both sides. Moving to the helm, we do have a 10 inch Garmin that comes factory installed, and as well as the Fusion stereo system with the upgraded JL audio system. This boat is equipped with a joystick system, so that's a pretty popular option these days. Um, this is an Optimus system on this particular boat, and she's powered with twin Mercury 225 horsepowers. She is equipped with VHF and digital switching. So in that platform, we can show you a little further in detail, but you have all that conveniently placed at your fingertips. Moving up top, you have convenient grab rails and grab bars if you're walking down the boat as it's underway. These are backlit as well. You have the nice convenient blue lights that come on the backside of these panels all over and throughout the boat. On the port side, I wanna show you the convenience of this cockpit. So you have five forward facing helm chairs underneath the shade of the hard top. So two companions here and then two companions behind me. But once we get to that final anchorage point or that sandbar for the day, it's just as easy to convert to a dinette, and then now we can pull out our Corian table, and now we can seat four couples conveniently in front of the table. On the starboard side here, we have our wet bar, with cutting board, and flip that out of the way. Now we have our sink, convenient trash receptacle. This boat is equipped with the electric grill with inverter system from Kenyon. We have a cutlery cabinet, and as well as a 35 quart Yeti on a slider. Storage drawers, 110 uh, outlets. Then we have a sandwich refrigerator down below. All that tucks away, nice, great design from Scout Boats. As we move further in the back of the cockpit, we're getting more of a fishing in stage. You can convert it to fishing or you can do cruising. This boat has port fish box, port and starboard. You have in gunnel rod storage here. The walkthrough door that we'll see on most of our scouts now with the walkthrough transom that goes across the back. This boat is equipped with a ski tow or ski pylon. Also the outboard engine flush system. So one common port flushes both engines simultaneously with the push of a button. We have a systems access here in the transom as well but as well as a pop-out seat. And again, two, if not three with kids. And we have the standard uh, bait well. Our, our port side here, we do have the standard in-swinging door. So that's convenient if you're docking or if the kids just want to jump in out of the boat, nice and easy, get away from the engine. This boat does have the quick disconnect fender pros for the fenders. So there's a quick disconnect fin pins that pull in and out conveniently placed. In the cockpit, last but not least, this is the aft sunshade. So you have a sunshade that's manual off the back of the boat. So basically two thirds of the boat now is fully covered. If you guys have any more questions about this incredible boat, feel free to call us at 843-747-1889. And again, my name is Dotson Geis with Marine Max here in Charleston. Thanks for watching.